All right, so next up we have Meg Trammell. Meg is someone who always has a big smile and is laughing and a kind-hearted friend to all. Let's go, Meg. First, in case you haven't already been told today, happy Good Boy Friday. Now, sitting down to write this speech, I had absolutely no idea what to write about. I've been thinking about it for the last months, getting my friends' advice, and going through ideas, trying to figure out how to write a message that wasn't basic, but also had meaning to me. I was completely stumped, and honestly wishing I hadn't given in to my mom when she asked me to email Rev three times because I waited too long to sign up in the first place and there were no more spots available. Anyways, after Rev graciously agreed to let me speak, I got over the stage of denial and realized that I actually had to write and give this speech. I then decided to talk about the one thing I felt like doing at the moment, quitting. A couple of weeks ago, the senior class listened to a talk from a woman who set the world record for the fastest time to hike the Appalachian Trail. She walked the trail in 46 days, 11 hours, and 20 minutes. That time put her at an average of around 47 miles a day. Now, I enjoy a run or even a hot girl walk every once in a while, but hiking 47 miles a day every day for over a month sounds like the worst thing ever to me. Anyways, during her talk, she said something that really caught my attention. At one point, she was so behind schedule and in so much pain that she almost quit. Her husband met her at one of her trail stops and told her that she can't quit while she's feeling like this. She can't quit at the lowest part of her journey because while the lowest parts of our journey define us, they should not and do not shape us nor stop us from accomplishing our goals. So she eventually got out of her slump and decided to continue her journey. She fell back in love with the trail and ended up completing it faster than she intended to. My mom once said to me, Meg, if I had a dime for every time you said you wanted to quit rowing, I'd be a millionaire. And while she's probably not wrong, she can also tell you that I only say that when my nerves are crazy high before a race or hard workout, when I'm painfully dramatic, as anyone on the team will tell you. But here I am four years later, not even rowing in college, but more thankful than ever that I never quit. The crew team has definitely seen me at my worst, and they didn't give up on me then, so why should I give up on them? This mindset of not giving up on my team stemmed from a policy my parents had for me and my brother when we were younger. Their policy was that we couldn't quit in the middle of a sports season no matter what. We made a commitment to the team, and quitting in the middle would be letting them down. I think this policy has not only shaped my outlook on life with sports, but also with academics and friendships. This rule has taught me how to put my team first in everything, and think of the effect my actions will have on others instead of only thinking about myself. While I admit this policy probably kept me in certain sports a lot longer than it should have, it did teach me important lessons like pushing through and finishing something, even though it's difficult at the time. If there's one thing promised in life, it's that you're gonna have difficulties. Whether it's in school, sports, relationships, or just the balance of it all, you're going to. It's what you do in those times of struggle that matter. It's the fact that you come out of it alive, even if you take it one day at a time and all you can do is simply survive for a little, those times will pass and the struggle won't last. So I'm not standing up here telling you to never quit because honestly, sometimes quitting is better than staying. But just don't quit at the lowest point when you feel like the whole world is against you. Because if the woman at the beginning of my speech did, she wouldn't have made a world record and I wouldn't have a national medal nor have met some of the best teammates I've ever had. Thank you.